Hey you guys, wanted to make this video to share with you. Uh, it's sort of a quant continuation from the video I made yesterday, which is starting to gear towards finding clients or targeting clients that, that will potentially become raving fans, right? Not just somebody who you can take their money and do something good for or something decent or it should work out type stuff. Not just that, but trying to target the people who you can know, who you know that you can deliver a very high caliber of results and um, you know they're gonna be very happy with your service, right? And one of the ways we can do this is qualify them. It's been around since the beginning of time when it comes to sales. Um, but then again, uh, I've probably heard it a thousand times and still never implemented it until now where I'm really looking to do so. Meaning before, if you've watched my videos, my sales process really like, you know, well, my video audit process for the most part was pretty much out in the dark, right? Like, you know, just send it to people who's like paying some kind of ads and hopefully, you know, I can call them later to see if they can, they have watched it, et cetera and just try to show the value I can bring and see if they have, can afford me, then try to close them. That's the whole idea of it, right? It's, it's, it's a lot to do with basic like willpower, wishy-washiness, a lot of follow-ups, but not much qualification and not much prospecting, right? But now I'm trying to eliminate so much in the dark, so much, so much of a shotgun approach and bring it a little bit more narrow, at least be potentially talking to only people who are very likely to get a very good result, right? Then we can qualify them if they can afford me and all that. But first, qualify them and talk to people who I know for sure that I can bring a very uh, good amount of results for, right? And um, so just wanted to share with you some of the basic questions I wrote down that I'm going to be asking people or people have to go through before I even get to the stage of making a video for them or anything like that, right? And that is this. Number one, are you running any ads? I'm going to share the ones with you first and then I will explain about a little bit about my thought process why I chose these, right? Because there's so many, right? If you look at other places about qualification, they give you like 13 questions. The top 10 questions you have to ask every process. Like it's too much, right? I brought it down to three or four questions that are critical, I believe, that I, I should know before I create some kind of video for them or some kind of proposal that I can lay out that this is what I'm gonna do for you. All right, number one. Are you running any micro marketing ads? I mean, are you what are, what are you running right now? What's working for you? Whether it be online or offline, okay? What's your marketing right now? Number two, um, would you be do you have the would you be able to handle a certain amount of jobs? Right. This is more of a question. This is not really like you know most businesses are gonna are looking to grow, but this is just them telling us from their mouth that yes they are looking to grow. Right. It's it's, it's another way to ask that. That's how I see it. Right. Hey, if we were to bring you um, extra around 15 to 20,000 extra revenue uh, per month here on forwards, that's looking like another six to seven jobs a month or four to five jobs a month, whatever it is. Would you do you have the capacity to handle that without going overboard or something? Do you have the crew already to handle that? Um, then the answer to them to that question is going to be somewhat. Yes. Great. Or something, like you know, like they're, they're going to be 99% is going to be yes. Number three. Um, Wait, let me ask you, what's your average cost per job? This is, you know, this is one of the most important things. What's your average revenue per job you do, okay, to the client? You want to get a number for this. This is the type of question that they don't want to say a number. They say like, well, it depends. That's what you hear most of the time. And it's so annoying because that's what the definition of average is. You know, that's sometimes that's what I want to say to the business owners. Like, hey, we ask for the average. We know it depends. You get repairs sometimes. Sometimes you get replacement. But what's the average? Do you guys calculate it? What would you say your best guess is, right? Usually for roofing, it's going to be around like anywhere from 3 to 4K to around 8K. That's like the average, I would say, right? Depending on which state they're in. It seems like down south, a lot of the places, people just nail replacements and, you know, 10K after 10K jobs, um, you know, at the park every time. Um, or you know every other time it's a high ratio up here for some reason maybe I just have a small sample a lot of times I just see that uh, people do a good amount of repairs but whatever it is you want to get them to a number actually come down to it if they're not giving you a number you will be able to like give them a like a like a wide range is it a thousand dollar job per month uh, per, per, per job is it a ten thousand dollar per job just throwing out numbers like that until they come to a point and then you got the third thing the fourth and last thing that I would say is critical is um Okay, is, this is the hardest question, right? And in fact, this is a question that I thought I could never be able to ask. And I, in fact, I'm a little afraid to even start asking uh, um, if, I, if I get in conversation from right now, from now on, but I'm definitely gonna ask this question. And that is, what is your marketing budget? This is the hardest question because this basically 
you're basically expecting them to tell you, or you think that you're gonna, you're, they're gonna be like, well, you know, I can't really give you a number for that. I'm not sure. We gotta see what we're gonna get. All this kind of stuff. People, you're, you're talking about numbers now. You're gonna talking about how much they're willing to pay, and people are afraid to say that because they are, they, they'll think that you know, if they say a high number, you'll probably try to use them, whatever, right? It's just the most uncomfortable. But this is probably the most powerful information you can have from a qualification call. Right? I, th I would say this is number one, the most important. It could be the most powerful. And number two would be average cost per job. Right? If you had to ask just, if you just knew these two questions, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be it. Because what you're asking them is they, 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 they basically tell you that we have an allocated budget for marketing. If it, if, if you can show me a clear way that it's going to bring a return on investment, that is a high chance that I'm going to make my money and it's going to work out. I have an allocated budget. And this is my cost per job. If those two work out well, then then basically all you gotta show is you know that your process works, right? And the way I would ask this, right? The other ones I'm not gonna really get into how to ask them because you guys can figure those out. But this one, um, it takes some time. So the way I would ask this last question is, um, which is, what's your marketing budget? After you ask the other ones, right? You don't wanna ask this the first question, that's for sure. You almost wanna start off by asking the easiest questions, things that are the least risky, right? Like when we answer the phone, like when we call them, right? What's a, a lot of times, what's the first question, question we ask them? Hey, is this, is this Bob's roofing? That's the first question you ask. It's the least risky, right? It's, it, you're asking if it's a business. At that point, they think you're a customer. It's almost like they should answer that. You want to go from there and build it up. By the time you ask this question, you want to have such a rapport just over that conversation, just over that time of the other conversation that you had, the fillers you had where you probably tried to put in a little bit of humor if you could, but add in some things, you know, just have a good conversation until the point this comes, where finally you had such a good conversation, at least 10 minutes before this of cushion, and then something like, all right, Bob, so lastly, um, you know, what, I, what, what it comes down to is this, right? I know, like, okay, let's see, I'm, I'm kind of like going out of words, but you're gonna say something like, all right, Bob, the last thing I gotta ask you are, you know, the, 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 the basically, let me pause this, guys, one second. All right, so I had to pause this before I got into this because I was just like overthinking. I remembered that it was something to do with the last question which leads into this question. All right, after you ask them, what's your average cost per job? And they answer that and they're like, yeah, it's like 5,000. Like, okay, all right. And you elaborate on, the, on that a bit, let them elaborate. Um, they talk about, yeah, is it a repair, replacement, et cetera. Oh, certain, like you can ask what, are there certain areas that that average goes higher in, lower in? Oh, God, I got it. All right, okay, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, those areas are a bit higher, right? The homeowners are, homes are bigger or whatever, creating some conversation. Then you can lead into this question. All right, so Bob, let me ask you this. To get these kind of jobs at the higher area, have you ever targeted them? Like what kind of marketing budget do you guys have? I know you're probably spending a lot of it with, blah, 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 blah. This is the first question you ask them. Um, you know, what kind of marketing are they doing right now? Whatever they said, we're running Google ads. We're, um, you know, doing flyers. We're, 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 we're with uh, Home Advisor, Angie's List, whatever, right? You're, you're using that now to build, you know, m more into this question, right? I know you're probably spending a lot with Angie's List. I know, as you said earlier on, uh, you're probably spending a lot of that money with Google ads, but if there's a clear way for me to show you an extra 15 to $16,000, 15 to $20,000, per month with a couple extra jobs, what kind of budget, will you have an extra budget to come up with that? That's when we put them in a position where they feel comfortable to answer that question. Because real business owners, this is what I'm just realizing now, real business owners will be fine to answer that. Because they are not afraid, right? All things being equal, they're not afraid. They know their numbers and they, they're not afraid that, oh, you're gonna use that and try to make them buy something. Real business owners know that they're not gonna get into something that doesn't make sense to them at all, right? You're not gonna convince a solid business owner to get into something that, that has no like credibility whatsoever, right? Like they, they, it's, even if you do, if you get lucky, you're gonna, probably not gonna be able to do that predictably. So they, they're okay. Once you build that rapport with them and you, they know you're coming from a sincere you know, position and you, it makes sense for you to ask that, they will answer. They'll say like, yeah, I mean, if there's a clear way, they might answer something like, if there's a, if there's a clear way for me to see that return, uh, we would have another one to 2,000 to put into that, right? And, and that's good enough. Even if they're a little wishy-washy with that, but they say a number that makes sense, right? They say 1,500, 2,000, whatever you charge, it's, it's, it's a complete loop, meaning that this is a qualified prospect you have in front of you and you can go for the um, you know uh, closing. The closing for this call 
for me, it's just going to be like, you know, picking up another time where I can show them what I can do for them, right? But the point is, this is what I would say is a qualifying, qualified customer, okay? All right, guys, I know I talked really fast in this video, but I'm just working on this right now. Um, let me know what you think, and uh, yeah, peace.